Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com, the climate guy setting the record straight about climate. In this video, I show you how to use my new Unhiding the Decline software, which allows you to make plots like this one showing how U.S. August maximum temperatures have been declining since 1895. The software is all written in Python, open source, easy to understand, and readily available on my website. So no more excuses from the climate alarmists. We could get you up and running with this software in just a few minutes. Go to my website, realclimatescience.com, and look for this post, Windows version of Unhiding the Decline. Click on this link, hiding.zip. That'll bring up a Dropbox page. The download is pretty big. It contains more than 300 megabytes of U.S. temperature data, so make sure you have enough disk space before you proceed. Go up here to the upper right corner where it says Download, click on that button, click on Direct Download. It may bring up a window here asking you to create an account on Dropbox. Down at the bottom of that it says, No thanks, proceed to Download. And the download is started. You can see it down here in the lower left corner for using Chrome. Once the download is complete, click on the up arrow and then select Show in Folder. That'll bring up a Windows Explorer window like this. Find your file, right click on it, select Extract All, and then just click on Extract. When the extraction is complete, Windows will pop up a new Windows Explorer window with just one directory in it named Release. Click on that. What you'll see in that directory is five files. ghcn.exe is the executable. us.txt is the US temperature record from NOAA. We're just one step away from being able to run now. Come up here, click in this title bar, and then type CMD Enter. That'll bring up a Windows command prompt. Now we're going to run the software to find out where temperatures were on this date in history, August 14th. Just type ghcn.exe us.txt and then we're going to type date equals 0814 and hit enter. Okay, it's going to look like nothing's happening, but you're going to have to be patient because it's off processing the entire U.S. temperature data set. So just sit tight for a few minutes and eventually a window will pop up. While we're waiting for it to pop up, let me just explain the command to you what we just did. ghcn.exe is the name of the executable you're running. us.txt is the US temperature data set. And date equals 0814 is date equals 08 for August. August is the eighth month and the 14th day of August. Now we're just going to sit tight and wait. It took about two minutes on my computer for the window to pop up, but there it is. It's a graph of the August 14th average maximum temperature versus year from 1895 to 2017. You can see how August temperatures have been declining in the United States since 1895. So now if you want to save the image, just come down here to this button, Save Image, and click on it. That'll save a .png file of the graph to the same directory where your executable was located. The left column is what parameter you want to plot on the x-axis, and the right column is what parameter you want to plot on the y-axis. Let's select Average Minimum Temperature now for the y-axis. It made a new graph, which once again shows that August minimum temperatures have been declining in the U.S. since 1895, the exact opposite of what alarmists claim. Now let's try the percent of days above 90 degrees Fahrenheit for the y-axis. Come over here to this button, click on it. There you go. The frequency of 90 degree days has been plummeting in the United States since 1895. Now let's try the frequency of 100 degree days. Come over here to this button, percent of days above 100 degrees, click on it, and in about a second the new graph pops up. So it's the same story, the frequency of 100 degree days has been declining in the United States since 1895. And note that we always have highlighted in turquoise the current x-axis and current y-axis values. So let's do something different now. All of our plots so far have had year on the x-axis. 
let's put something different on the x-axis like atmospheric carbon dioxide. So come over here to the CO2 button on the x-axis column and click on it. Now we get a scatter plot which has the percent of days above 100 degrees Fahrenheit on the y-axis and CO2 and ppm on the x-axis. You can see that as carbon dioxide has increased, the frequency of hot days has decreased in the U.S. This pretty much destroys global warming theory. Now I'm back at the original web page and I want to show you how to update the software. Go to this link here, the latest ghcn.exe executable. Click on it, download that ghcn.exe file, and put it in the directory which you are running from. That's all you need to do. If you want to get the original Python source code, it's at this link here. It's very easy to understand and shows exactly what I'm doing. It gives Alarmist no more excuses for this scam. If we could get enough people running this software, we can put this scam down. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.